Hey everyone, it's your boy Odin from Host.Promo, a website to find the best web hosting companies and promotions. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you all about BotPress. I'm gonna be reviewing the software, show you how to install it, set it up, and create your first bot. Okay, I'm gonna be recommending DigitalOcean for this tutorial because if you come here and you click create and you sign up, you can get a $50 free trial with a link down below. If you click marketplace, once you've clicked the create button up here in the menu, you can see that they have bot press right here as a one click installation. So you don't have to configure the server. Of course, you can set up bot press on any server. However, DigitalOcean lets you do it in one click. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click a $10 server. That's the smallest server we can use for bot press. And we're gonna select a location near us. I'm gonna pick Singapore because right now I'm currently traveling in Asia. And then you're gonna select your SSH key. You're gonna name your host. I'm just gonna keep it as the same. And then we're gonna go ahead and select where it should be default. We're gonna go ahead and click create droplet. All right, the server for BotPress is loaded and ready to go. We just need to click copy to get the IP address. Go ahead and put colon and then 3000 as the port number. It will take us to the BotPress admin panel where we'll be able to now create a user account and get started, okay? So I will go ahead and make my email odin at host.promo and then the password, I will just do odin1234, odin1234 and we're gonna go ahead and now we are in the dashboard, okay? So you can see if we come up here, we can click manage server, config, configure debug languages in my account all of these will basically take you to the different settings pages, okay? Uh, there's not too many settings, but I mainly want to go over how to create a bot. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and create bot, new bot. And then we're going to just do, we'll do host.promo, which is my website, uh, customer support, okay? Now for the bot template, we're going to go ahead and just select the welcome bot, but you're free to select another template and then you're gonna click create bot, okay? Now it's gonna give us a bot and you can see it's already been created for us and it already has some examples. If we click right here, open chat, we can actually go ahead and test it out and see how it works right off the bat. We're gonna go ahead and type hello to the customer support bot and see what happens, okay? Hello, boom, hi, I'm welcome bot. My task is to help you understand how BotPress works. What would you like to know? We'll ask, and then we see two different buttons right here we can click, so, okay? So we can click what is bot memory, and then the bot replies, bot memory is used by the bot to store information about conversation. Here's an example. May I know your name, please? My name is Odin. Odin, this is the first time we speak. Try say something like, forget my name. Forget my name. Hi, I'm welcome bot. My task is, boom, and then it goes back, okay? So you could also click what is a context and it will take you down to a different route and a different conversation flow. Now let me go ahead and show you how to edit and create the bots, okay? So we're gonna go up here, we're gonna go ahead and click our customer support bot. And this is where we can go ahead and edit the bot, customize the bot and do many things to our bot, okay? So if we look here, we got a section that says flows and right here is the main flow and we also have a section if we click memory or context this will take us to different things okay you can add choices apis slots send emails it's very very complicated i'm not going to go over every single feature but i just want to go over the main features with you guys today okay so if we click get choice uh, insert a new skill pick the question and ch choices okay uh, we'll do a question uh, What would you like to know? Okay? Uh, and then you can write here. What is it add a new tag? Uh, we'll do What is JavaScript? Okay, and we can go ahead and click enter Now we're on a section called flows where we can edit the flows of the bots if you look here in the left side menu You'll see a main flow a memory flow as well as a context flow and you can also of course if you click the plus button you can create more flows okay and flows are basically ways the conversation can go between the bot and the user 
And on the very left menu, you got a bunch of different sections. For example, if we click Code Editor, this is going to pull up a lot of the coding and configuration files for our bot. For example, if we click bot.config.json, you can see a bunch of information about here about our bot. And you can also edit a lot of the code inside the code editor, okay? Uh, if we go here, NLU, which I think stands for Neuro Linguistic something, okay, Natural Language Understanding. Uh, basically, it's pretty cool. It helps your bot become more smart. So if somebody says hello, uh, and they also say hey there, or good morning, or bonjour, or hola, I'm pretty sure hola is Spanish and it's actually one L, not two. But anyways, uh, if somebody puts something that is like hello, the bot will recognize that, okay? It will re recognize the intent of the user, okay? Um, because not everybody speaks the same. There's many, many ways to say hello. So I thought this section is pretty cool. If we come here and we click Q&A, this is where you can set a lot of the questions and answers. For example, how many years does a monkey live? And then this is like all the same question, okay? How long can monkeys live? We could also do what is the lifespan of monkeys? And you see below there's also what is the lifespan of a monkey? So you can make it very, very similar, the intent for the question. And then the bot will say the lifespan of a monkey is 10 to 50 years, depending on the species, okay? And then you can redirect to a different flow or also do other things. Uh, we can also create an image, uh, a text as the answer, or even a drop down. Um, and you can also edit the answer right here or delete the answer, okay? You can import questions. You can also export these and add them to existing bots. And you can also search for questions up here and also search it and break it down by category. Okay, the next thing I want to cover is if we come here on the very left menu and we click the bottom icon, it says testing, okay? And that will bring us to a page like here where we can create what is called a scenario. Think of a scenario as similar as a unit test in code. However, what this does is this lets you create a conversation design and you can automate it and you re can record it and then you can run it in the future for different scenarios, okay? And we could go ahead and click record new scenario which will create a bot emulator and then basically you can have test conversations, etc. and then you can come back here over to the left and click stop recording and save that. And the last thing I wanna go over is if we come up here where it says content in the left side menu, uh, it will bring us to a page like this that has a bunch of content and you can also filter by the content type such as single choice or text. Uh, we could go to a choice one, we can see when it's created, when it's last modified, and we can also edit it by clicking the little pencil icon, okay? Uh, it says, le okay, let's use a simple example. Let's talk about animals, pick one. This is the message the bot sends, okay? And then the user sees a few different choices such as monkey, uh, and this is the value and they also see draft draft we could also add an answer okay we could type in tiger and then tiger okay now the user will have three different choices okay and you can see right here now it says choice choices three okay so this is pretty cool bot press studio is basically uh, I think of it as like the WordPress for bots it's pretty cool software it's open source, you can download it in one click on DigitalOcean. I highly, highly recommend you guys check out BotPress and you play around and you configure your bots. They also have an SDK available, so if you wanna uh, integrate bot BotPress on your website easily, you can go ahead and do so. And if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I will also link to the documentation. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check out my website, host.promo, and make sure to take advantage of the $50 free trial link for DigitalOcean down below so you can go ahead and get started with BotPress for free in one click. 
And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day, and I wish you the best of luck with creating bots on BotPress.